Hey guys, as we get further and further into AI characters, I notice that my game's performance is steadily decreasing. And the main culprit is our video memory, our virtual memory. And I have a really good graphics card, but I think this crazy level that I initially built, since it has like 30 to 40 gigabytes of assets in the level, I was literally pushing my machine to the max. I think it's pretty close to the limit. However, I did find one easy way to increase our video memory by about 20 or 30% and really reducing the amount of times that this comes up. Now, when we start making actual levels for our game, they are not gonna be as performance intensive as what we've got here. So if you're not able to do what I've done in this level, I totally understand, hang tight in the series. But regardless, this little trick should help. And the other thing I should mention is that this little trick is not my own. I just stumbled across it on the Unreal Engine forums and I wanna give credit to uh, Jimbo Halo 10 here. So the way we do this is we have to go into our Epic Games folder and into either the UE 5.0 or 5.1 folder, whichever one you're using. And this is probably located under your C program files Epic Games, but it might be somewhere else for you. So you've got to go into that folder, into the engine folder, into the config folder. And then if you're using Mac or iOS, I assume you'll need to go into those folders, but I'm using Windows, so we'll go into Windows. And then we have to go into the Windows engine.ini file here. And you see here it says pool size VRAM percentage is how much percentage of GPU dedicated VRAM should be used as a texture pool cache for streaming textures. And right now it's set to 70. And I found that changing this to zero for unlimited streaming, that just made a significant difference for me. So we'll go ahead and file, save this, and then we need to restart the engine. And once I did that, levels performance, especially hitching, much, much better. So you see those hitches there. I still get a little bit of hitching, but it's mainly due to the size of the level, just the sheer amount of virtual memory that's needed. Uh, and uh, that's about it, guys. So if you're interested in following along with what we're doing for AI, feel free to check out the upcoming episodes. And otherwise, I hope this little virtual memory streaming trick works out for you.